uh, Tom Matthews from Matthews Engineering back. I'm um, going to show how to do uh, permeability test on fabrics and uh, this relates to people trying to make masks and, and evaluating various mass materials because um, if you can't breathe through a material uh, you know that degrades the value of that material and a material with a high filtering efficacy that's also easy to breathe through is, is what you really want. Um, so I'm going to show how to test this and um, also I'm going to show how it affects the results on some of the materials that we tested just the efficacy only and how how we can apply this information to determine which materials are really are uh, the most promising and so uh, the test I've got here um, I'm, let's zoom in and I'll show you what's going on here first let me show you there's a compressed air coming in here and I've got a little needle valve where I can adjust how much air flows uh, let's go ahead and zoom in and look at this setup um, so so the compressed air comes in through this needle valve. It loops through these flow gauges. Um, these are in series, so I can, the reason I've done this is some of the materials have very fine flow, others have coarse flow. Um, I even have a, a, a third gauge for some of the really permeable materials. Um, so, and these uh, measure the flow of the air in a cubic feet per hour. And so then that air is rounded over here to a little chuck that I made that has a O-ring and it has a one inch diameter uh, orifice and there's also a corresponding one inch diameter orifice below and the calculation for this measurement takes that into account so the, the measurement is normalized for the material and, and, uh, and that's about five square centimeters of uh, area so it, uh, that's taken into account and uh, so there's only a material specific measurement not, not for a specific size of material. And then if you look closely, you'll see that both of these chucks have a little port on the side and they go over to this very sensitive differential pressure meter and that shows me exactly how much pressure drops across the fabric at a specific flow. And that the ratio of those two is of course the resistance to flow uh, the permeability, as defined by uh, ASTM, is, uh, is when you measure the flow at a half an inch of water of pressure. So that's a very low pressure. Um, uh, you could um, think of that uh, similar to um, the amount of pressure that's on a cotton, two layer cotton mask if you're breathing gently. Uh, you know, like when you're sleeping or whatever, a half an inch of water um, is equivalent um, to, to that pressure. A normal uh, walk, you know, up and about breath is probably closer to a full inch of water and pressure. But an inch of water is only 0 0.036 PSI. So we're talking about very low pressure differences. Um, and you need a very sensitive uh, meter to see it, stuff like that. And this is like this Dwyer magna helix gauge. And it's K, it goes up to one inch of water. So I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'll set the test up for this piece of cotton. We'll adjust the airflow until we get a half inch of water, which is the same as 125 pascals. And uh, then we'll read the flow. And so that flow, uh, and then I'll have to convert the flow. Uh, this is in cubic feet per hour. The ASTM standard calls for the reading to be uh, cubic centimeters per square centimeter per second at 125 pascals, which on this scale will be half scale. So let's go ahead and test this cotton and see how it how it fares. So put it in the chuck there, and um, and then I'm going to adjust the, uh, the the airflow until I get half scale reading on here. And I just hold this down firm. Um, a professional tester would probably have a clamp on here, but but for what we're doing, we can do this. And you can see it coming up there. And so now I've got, let's get it right, a half inch of water. That's 125 pascals. And then over here, we're getting about 11.6 cubic feet uh, per hour. I'll zoom in a little bit here so you get a better look. So this little uh, float is in a conical chamber and it's calibrated to read in cubic feet per hour. 
Now, when I convert that, uh, now I have to do some math to convert that to cc's per uh, square centimeter per second. And for that cotton, that comes out to about, um, uh, let's see here, whoops. Oh, well, let's see, I've got it right here. So for cotton, it comes out to about 17.6 cubic centimeters per square centimeter per second at 125 pascals. And that's how we measure flow resistance. Now what I've done here with this information is imagine we could take these flow resistance numbers and use them to correct for materials that are, like if you had a material that's very easy to breathe through, you might be able to use twice as many layers. So it's not fair to compare that material maybe to cotton. So what I've done is I've taken the original cotton number, 63% effective, and then I've corrected it to be normalized to two, as if it was two layers of cotton. In this case, there's no difference in these numbers because it's normalized to two layers of cotton, and this is actually two layers of cotton. But let's look at what this does to some of these uh, measurements. Um, here's one, for example, that we tested, which was parachute material, and it, um, it tested poorly to begin with at 8%, but when I correct it uh, to the equivalent amount, so if you use the same amount of parachute material that you could breathe through equally as two layers of cotton, you'd have to thin this down somehow because it's very poor permeability. Um, and it, that's bleed, you know, easy to imagine because a parachute is supposed to grab the air and you know, keep you from falling. So parachute has very low, parachute material has very low permeability. And so the corrected efficacy for this material goes from 8% down to 0%. Um, the next material uh, we can look at, that we looked at before, was uh, Melita coffee filters. And, uh, and these tested pretty well with two layers. Um, but the problem is they tested poorly on the permeability scale. Um, so when you correct that, so, so really only to be about equal to cotton, you should only have one layer of Melita coffee filter instead of two, and that brings the efficacy down to 26%. This is corrected efficacy. This would only be valid if you, you know, scaled your material flow to match that of a you know, gold standard two-layer cotton mass. Uh, let's look at some more materials. Um, of course, uh, Charmin toilet paper. Um, this is a good example because it tested one, two, and three layers, and you can see the permeability of one layer is higher than the permeability of two layers and higher than the permeability of three layers. And if you take the reciprocal of these numbers, which would be the resistance, you can see that these are about, you know, a one, two, three times more resistance to the flow. Uh, but this is a reciprocal, so it's not quite as obvious here. But if I do the same correction, so if I, one layer of Charmin was 29% effective, but if I stacked it up to maybe to three layers, which would be closer to what two layers of cotton is, you get 76%. And all of these numbers normalize about to the same because, because this number, the normalized number, is independent of the thickness. It, it presumes that you're going to scale up to a you know, breathability thickness that's similar to cotton. Um, so all of these materials that I tested in prior videos, um, you know, here's Scott Blue Towels. Um, they tested 73% for two layers, but when I correct them, so if you maybe use three layers, which would be about the same to breathe through as cotton, the, the corrected efficacy went up to about 78%. So, so Scott Towels uh, looking even better under this test method. Um, Toolbox brand had the opposite effect. Even though they had an excellent particle filtering e efficacy at 80%, their permeability was lower and a little harder to breathe through. So when you correct for that effect, it drops them down to 74%. Um, so either, both of these blue towels are pretty good. Um, but but these are a little harder to breathe through, so there's the correction for that. Um, similar effect on Pellon interfacing, except for in this case, it was uh, in the positive direction. This is very easy to bleed through, the permeability 59.2 cubic centimeters per centimeter per second at 125 pascals. So this takes the 52% absolute filter 
effect, efficacy and normalizes it to 82%. But this means you'd have to use uh, several layers of that um, to be equal to cotton. You'd probably have to use the three or four layers or maybe even six or, you know, and you have to really stack this up to truly get this number, but it is possible. Um, feminine pad also fared well under this correction. Um, this is part of a, this is just the inside part we tested in a prior video of a feminine pad and it was 56% effective, but it's uh, very easy to breathe through and the permeability is 120 cubic centimeters per centimeter per second at 125 pascals. And this, when you correct this efficacy number, it goes up to 100 to 92%. But again, you'd have to use multiple layers of this to actually achieve this number but it would still be easy to breathe through. So that's the whole point here. Um, going on up the list here, um, convention bags. Um, I believe these are polypropylene, two layer convention bag. Um, and um, this is a shout out to one of my prior employers that gave me this, but, uh, but so that um, uh, is pretty easy to breathe through. It already tested well, 75%. But because the uh, permeability of the fabric is very good, 67 cubic centimeters per se square centimeter per second, the corrected efficacy is up to 93%. But you'd probably have to use, you know, seven or eight layers of this. You'd have to use a lot of layers to get that number, but it would still be easy to breathe through. Um, one material that uh, lots of people are interested in is Halli Halliard 600 sterilization wrap. Um, all of these materials, I can't attest, you know, to whether I'm certain that they're safe. Some people have, are concerned they can, you know, materials can contain either chemicals or perhaps um, uh, fiberglass or other dangerous things. Most of these we, we don't believe have fiberglass, but again, if you use any material, be sure you're certain that it's safe before proceeding. But this material um, is very easy to breathe through 7.6, or rather, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a little more difficult to breathe through than cotton. Um, cotton is 17.6 on the permeability scale. This is 7.6, so it's about twice as hard to breathe through. So this took the 97% number, a very good number, and still a good number when corrected uh, for the permeability, 93% on Halliard. Uh, just a couple more here, um, vacuum cleaner bag linings, as long as they're certain they're not fiberglass or anything else dangerous, uh, they are very easy to breathe through the permeability, 25.4, uh, even better than cotton, although they were already 100% effective at one micron particle size, uh, this is still 100%, and it's still a very good material, as long as you're certain that the brand you have is safe and not doesn't have any unwanted chemistry in it. And then uh, same thing on furnace filters and the same, um, uh, you know, warning about being careful that you have a, what material you know is safe. These were outstanding on the flow. And I'm sure it's because, you know, your furnace filter manufacturer knows what they're doing and they know how to let air through and, and capture one micron particles. But these had an enormously good permeability of about 10 times better than cotton, 171.5. And this took the 94% rating, corrected up to 99%. Now, granted, remember, to get these higher ratings, you'd have to stack several layers of that. Uh, but it's already a single layer of this material. It's already very good. To measure this one, I had to, that's how I had to break out the, the real high flow gauge, because I couldn't get 125 pascals um, with these uh, lower flow gauges. And then, of course, the last item that I tested um, is an N95 mask. And uh, remember, cotton is 17.6 cubic centimeters per centimeter squared per second. So this N95 mask is about as easy to breathe through as cotton. Um, but, uh, and it was 100% effective at one micron, and it's still 100% effective when you correct because they're about the same anyhow. Um, so those are the materials I tested, um, and I hope this is helpful. Um, if you have materials uh, that you'd like me to uh, use this setup to check the permeability of them, let me know and I'll do that for you. Uh, Tom Matthews from Matthews Engineering, uh, thank you to all my new subscribers and appreciate your uh, time.